There are about 6 million Americans and 25 million people worldwide who have become blind or have severe visual impairment from diseases that destroy the retina, the part of the eye that translates light signals into recognizable images. This figure is projected to double by the year 2020, causing a virtual epidemic of vision loss. But now there is a way to return the gift of sight to those who have lost it. A unique collaboration exists between nine institutions that span the public and private sectors led by the Department of Energy. The result of their teamwork is a prosthetic implant called the artificial retina. Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, and retinitis pigmentosa, RP, are blinding diseases that destroy the light-sensing photoreceptor cells in the eye, but the remaining visual system is relatively intact. The goals of the Artificial Retina Project are to restore as much vision as possible and to improve the quality of life for individuals who have become blind through these diseases. Progress towards the first goal was achieved with an initial prototype, and simulations of the next generation of artificial retinas have shown that it should be even more effective in improving sight. The first prosthetic, which is in clinical trials, consists of a 16-electrode array that is surgically implanted in the patient's retina. The patient wears a special pair of glasses which contains a tiny camera that transmits an image to the implant. The implant then sends the signal to the remaining healthy retinal nerve cells and optic nerve, which communicate directly with the brain. This is how the patient is able to see. The first model has enabled patients to describe an object's motion, count discrete items, as well as locate and differentiate objects in an environment. Turn some left. That's correct. Turn on right. An H. And what about the second letter? Hey, Yes, plate. Okay, sir. Thank you. Cut. The next generation of artificial retinas are currently in the early stages of testing. They will be smaller, more powerful, and will be implanted with less surgical invasion. The members of the Artificial Retina Project are aiming to eventually make implants that are sensitive enough to enable patients to see large print and recognize faces. The success of this project is based on collaboration. Oak Ridge National Laboratory is studying the long-term stability of the device once it is implanted in a human body. At Lawrence Livermore and Sandia National Laboratories, Researchers are working on an advanced array design where electrodes are built on material much like a soft contact lens. Lawrence Livermore makes flexible circuits on a material called PDMS, and Sandia researchers have developed tiny springs that help the electrodes conform to the curvature of the eye. The team at Los Alamos has developed advanced optical imaging techniques. They are making models of the neural paths stimulated by the implant. They have provided a better understanding of how the prosthesis works by mapping the interaction between the brain and retina. Scientists at Argonne National Laboratory are using their patented ultra nanocrystalline diamond technology to make the implant biocompatible with the surrounding ocular tissue. Second Sight is the commercial partner whose responsibility is the integration of the technology into devices according to FDA and international regulatory standards, and they will make the artificial retina commercially available to the public. They are part of a consortium of companies who have over 30 years experience developing implantable electronics and bring a wealth of specialized knowledge to the project. The scientists at the Doheny Eye Institute at the University of Southern California were the original inventors for the device concept and provide basic research into the design of the device. Engineers here integrate the individual components and the surgeons provide expertise on implantation. The researchers at the University of California, Santa Cruz are experts in wireless communication and their technology provides the critical link between the camera and the implant. North Carolina State University has contributed electrical and thermal modeling of the device which tells us how much energy can be used to stimulate the remaining non-disease cells. 
The progress of the Artificial Retina Project has been remarkable. Through years of research and funding, the results from clinical trials have proven that people who suffer from AMD or RP can't see shades of light with the implant. And when this project is completed, vision could be restored to millions of people worldwide. Like I said before, from the very beginning, uh, it's not me, but if it help somebody, if it doesn't help me, if I can help somebody in the future, I'm all for it. And I have, I have no fears.